What's happening in Las Vegas in October? That's what we're talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I wanted to go over what type of events was happening in Las Vegas for next month or for the month of October 2021. Now it's been quite some time since I've done an events video. If you recall last year, we had a little pandemic going on. So not a lot was happening here in Las Vegas. So this year I thought, hey, you know what? October, November, December, there's a lot of fun things happening here in the Valley. Let's get back into doing my event um, videos. So, hope you like my microphone and hopefully it's not distracting to you. Um, but October is finally here or will be here and the weather in October in Vegas is awesome. It's really nice. Thankfully, the summer is almost over and we get to enjoy this beautiful weather. And the temperatures, you know, this is the best time of year. The temperatures have around the 70s and 80s and at the night time, it gets a little cooler in the 50s but it's still very manageable, especially when it comes to Halloween. So I'm gonna go over, there's like five type of events happening throughout the Valley. I'm sure there's more, but I just wanted to highlight um, some key events that happen um, year over year, or year, after year after year that happens. And then I'm gonna go over some Halloween type events as well. The first event that's happening this year is the Las Vegas Pride Parade and Festival, which is October 8th through the 9th. And the Pride Celebration is returning to the Pride Parade in downtown Las Vegas on October 8th, 2021 at 7 p.m. And then following the next day on Saturday, the Pride Festival, which will be on the 9th from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Craig Ranch Regional Park in North Las Vegas. So you go to the Pride Parade in downtown Las Vegas on Friday night and then come and have fun um, and there will be live bands there as well music food activities etc at the Pride Festival at Craig Ranch Regional Park in North Las Vegas and number two is Reggae Rise Up Music Festival the Reggae Rise Up Music Festival is coming to downtown Las Vegas Event Center on October 9th and 10th this year from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. both nights and they're gonna have um, two full days of amazing music food merchandise art activities and good vibes and there will be two stages and over 40 vendors so it sounds like a lot of fun and you know if you look in the description I post a link to a blog post um, for this video that gives you more information about each of the events and how you can get tickets for each of these events coming and number three is Downtown Bruce Festival, and this festival will be on October 16th from 5 to 9 p.m. at the Clark County Government Center Amphitheater, produced by Montley Brews. And the ninth annual Downtown Brew Festival in Las Vegas, the iconic backyard craft beer, music, and culinary festival under the stars. 200 plus craft beers, 60 plus breweries, local culinary arts, live music, and monthly experiences. So Motley Brews is going to follow suit with all the other larger festivals that's happening across the country where they're going to make it mandatory for you to be fully vaccinated individuals or that you have to prove a day before of a negative COVID test results. Um, and you know what? I kind of agree with people making it mandatory with the spread of COVID, even people with the non-COVID spreading it to the, or the non-vaccinated spreading it to the vaccinated and the Delta variants and all that jazz. I'm not going to get into it, but you know what? If you want to go have fun, then you need to do your part. And number four is the Electric Daisy Carnival or the EDC. And this carnival will return to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway from October 22nd through the 24th um, for three historic nights of music, art, and community. This event usually happens in the springtime, but obviously was delayed several times due to the pandemic. The EDC will be celebrating 25 years in the sky. Located about 15 miles northeast of the Las Vegas Strip, it has been home to the EDC since the 2011 relocation from LA. 
And number five is the Whiskey X. The Whiskey X will be on October 23rd at 7 p.m. It's actually the biggest whiskey event at the Cosmopolitan's Boulevard Pool. Enjoy unparalleled views of the Las Vegas Strip while you taste uncurated 60 plus whiskeys and cocktails, a live concert, and bites from the Cosmopolitan's world-class restaurant collection. So Halloween fun dominates Las Vegas in October. Come out and play because Las Vegas is one of the best cities in the world to celebrate Halloween. This spooky holiday falls on Sunday this year, so expect tons of Halloween events and crazy mayhem that entire weekend. But something to keep in mind is that if you are wearing a traditional costume and you're going through the casinos, they do not allow masks. The only mask that they allow is the mask protecting you from COVID. If you are wearing a scary mask, you're not allowed to in the casinos. So just food for thought. You can wear your crazy costume, but you can't wear a full crazy mask. And guess who's gonna be playing in Vegas that weekend? One of my favorite all-time bands, Fish. They'll be playing three nights at the MGM Grand Arena, starting on Thursday, October 28th through Sunday, October 31st. If you know anything about Fish, on Halloween, they usually do a cover of an album. One year they've done the Beatles White Album, Talking Heads, Velvet Underground. Um, that's all I can think of right now, but it will be probably a fun show. Uh, so that's pretty cool that Fish will be in town for Halloween weekend. The last time that I saw Fish on Halloween weekend in Vegas was probably in the late 90s. Then you have Vegas Fright Nights, which is one of the best haunted houses in Las Vegas. As you embark on a journey of giggles and gore, this 3D haunted house experience promised to show you a whole new dimension of evil. Starting on October 2nd and 3rd, October 8th through the 10th weekend, October 15th through the 17th weekend, October 22nd through the 24th weekend, and October 29th through the 31st weekend from 6.30 to 11 p.m. nightly. They will have three horrifying attractions, three different haunted houses. The first one will be the Blood Barn, which is new for 2021. Then there will be the Night Manor, and then last, the Clown Invasion in 3D. So three different horrifying haunted houses. Next is Halloween at the Magical Forest. Opportunity Village announces the return of its family-friendly Halloween event at the Magical Forest, welcoming boys and girls of all ages for a family-friendly Halloween experience. Gates open at 5.30 p.m. nightly on October 8th through the 10th, October 15th through the 17th, and October 22nd through the 24th, and October 29th through the 31st. General admission is $15, and a passport admission is $22. Purchase online to learn more at www.halloween.com. Next is Haunted Harvest at Springs Preserves. And Haunted Harvest is back, returning to Springs Preserves for a spectacular good time with the whole family. It's everything you've been missing, including themed trick-or-treat stations, live entertainment activities for all ages, street vendors serving all kinds of tasty treats, and much more. So mission is $9 for non-members, $8 for members, and donor members receive free admission, free for children two years and under, and all attendees must be ticketed for the event. And the last Halloween event in Vegas is Fetish and Fantasy Halloween Ball. This event will start on October 30th at 10 p.m. and ends on October 31st at 3 a.m. And the Fetish and Fantasy Ball celebrates its 25th anniversary. Join the festivities along with 2,600 hardcore partiers in Las Vegas to celebrate the end of Halloween prohibition in the hottest event in Las Vegas located at Area 15. Experience what's called the world's wildest Halloween party. So those are my top October events happening in Las Vegas. Now there are a lot of other events, concerts, etc., happening, but I thought I'd pick a few because then this list would be extremely long. Um, you know, Halloween is a great time to be here in Las Vegas if you're traveling and want to visit. And if you live here, then there's a lot of fun activities for you and your family to enjoy. It's not just adult-oriented. There's a lot of kid-oriented activities 
here in the Las Vegas Valley. Stay tuned next month for all events happening in November in Las Vegas and then December as well. And don't forget the biggest event ever, New Year's Eve. I'm not sure if they'll be having it this year, but I'm sure there will be fun festivities happening. Anyways, if you like this channel, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.